Hello everybody, welcome to another Android Studio tutorial. My name is Mitch Tabian, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make custom buttons. So um, go ahead and start a new project to start. Call it custom buttons. Um, so we'll start in the layout tab. As soon as it's done loading, actually I'm going to move move an image to to the folder because I'm going to use it later. Hey, yeah, there's me. Well, let's take this one. I know that one will work. So I'm going to put the put that into the this image into the drawables folder because we're going to use it later. Sure, right. So to start we'll go into activity main and delete this text view and let's change this to a linear layout and change the orientation to vertical, no horizontal. Yeah. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add another layout. We're gonna add another linear layout to match parent and match parent. And we add a couple buttons. Actually, I want to drag them in. I like to just drag them in. Drag that button in. Drag that guy in. Right next to each other. Call this one button one. Don't need to give it an ID. Button two. Okay. So, we'll need orientation. So, I'm also going to show you how to distribute items in a in a layout really easily too really quick so we can define a weight sum to be whatever you want using 100 is easy cuz the numbers are easy to work with then and then you can define a layout weight so if you want this to consume 50% because it's 50 is half of 100 you would write layout weight equals 50 here and then do the same thing for the other button so now if you look over here it's occupying 100% of that row. And now that we have <coughs> now that we have buttons in our linear layout, I'm going to define the height to be uh, wrap content. So it's only going to come up come as low as those two buttons. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to show you is that little image thing. So I'm going to make another linear layout to match. Oops, into match parent match parent and do a vertical orientation so this is just kind of how to organize your your stuff in your layout then say if you want to throw like an image view in here whoops where's that linear layout so what the hell that's weird why is it Should be below. What the hell? Um, oh, it's because this is horizontal. We gotta change that to vertical. Vertical. So now, yeah. So now I can change. That's match parent. I can have it go all the way down. Why isn't it going all the way down? Oh, rep content, there we go. So, match parent, there we go. So now it'll consume. So, now we have those two buttons consuming 100% of the row because of we, the way we define the weight. And now this new linear layout is going to be below those two and it's going to be consuming 100% of the layout that's left because we have match parent here. So, then say you could throw like, throw an image view in here and tell the image view to consume 100%. So, match parent. And we can reference that Naruto picture that I threw in the drawables folder. So now you have a picture there. Okay, so now let's actually get into the design of the buttons. So go into the drawable folder and open a new XML file. I call it blue on click red. So this button is going to be blue 
unless you click it, and then it's gonna turn red when you when you touch it. Oopsie. So that's what you use state pressed for. You set that to true. That means that if you press it, um, this this action will be taken, or this shape, I guess, will be made. Stroke is the border. Two F six six nine nine. The border is going to be dark blue, and we can set the width of the stroke. Whoops. To be let's do one DP. And now we can make the corners, so we can define what the radius of the corners are going to be. B, and throw a little padding in there. And P, oops. That's good. No, oh, forgot the number sign here. So you can always tell them the color will show up on the border here. So now, if it's pressed, a solid will be created that's red with a border that's blue. So we'll create the state when it's not pressed now. So we just delete, we just copy all that and delete this. And we'll change this color to be, be a light blue. So 449 BEF. So if you ever want to find a color, you can just uh, open up your internet browser and look up the hex colors for any color. So like if I wanted green, I would just get this one right here. And then you just paste it in here. So that should be good for this button. I'm going to go make a second. Why is it red? That. There we go. Same thing here. I need to close this. Okay, so now we'll make our second uh, second button. This one's going to be green on click white. So same thing, paste that stuff. State when pressed. Uh, what did I say? State will be white when it's pressed. So that one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's that's color white. Close that. Create another item. This is going to be the state that's not pressed. And we're going to throw that green. Whoops, don't want that. Throw that green color in the head. There. So it shows up right there. Okay, so yeah, this one will be green, and if you press it, then it will turn white. So now we, now that we've made these, we just go back into our our layout file and go to our buttons and type background drawable that one's blue on click and background drawable this one's green on click and now we run it and wait for this slow ass emulator <coughs> yeah so I just kinda showed you yeah so this is what it should it actually shows up in the design tab which is nice. That's from my. I just tried it before I made the made the video, so it's not done loading yet. Don't get excited. I think that this is a good way to organize your stuff, though. Like you just keep keep throwing in layouts and then creating new layouts and um, wrapping the content, basically. Oh, what's going on? Here we go. Didn't work. It's probably, oh, the picture's probably too big, I think. Yeah, too big. 
So I gotta, I gotta delete this picture. So you're not gonna get to see this sweet Nero picture on the emulator anyway. It's frozen now. There we go. Yeah. So sometimes images are too big. You can't, you can't put them in there. You can tell obviously it's t it's talking about memory and the application's small, so you know it's not it's not the code. Okay, so if you click on button one, it turns red, and if you click on button two, it turns white, and you can see the corners around it, and you can see those borders there. And so that's that's it for this tutorial. Um, if you liked the video, like the video, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.